Hey there, Aureli here from WithHisGifts.com. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. Today I have another video tutorial for you and we are going to be creating this lovely card. So let's get started. The stamp sets that we'll be using today are Number of Years, Timeless Textures, Watercolor Wings, and One Big Meaning. The ink pads that we're using today are Peekaboo Peach and Sahara Sand. We'll be using a couple of the die pieces um, from a couple of the die sets. This one is from the Bold Butterfly Framelits dies and this one from the, from the Butterfly Thinlets dies. And for our paper, I have my card base here and crumb cake cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. My card front and very vanilla cut at five and three eighths by four and an eighth. I have a piece here from the Playful Palette Designer Series Paper Stack. And this is um, a lovely, lovely paper stack. It has so many wonderful designs. It's two-sided um, and it's awesome. Um, you'll want to add that to your collection and we're going to be using this piece here and this is cut at two inches by four and an eighth then I have um, two pieces of very vanilla cut at three by three inches and we will be cutting our lovely little butterflies from these some of the other supplies that we'll be using today are the Venetian crochet trim the linen thread my snail, glue dots, scotch tape, sponge, scissors, bone folder, and finally I will be using these lovely pearls. Um, once again, these are not Stampin' Up! I picked these up from a local arts and crafts outlet store. Um, they were in a sandwich bag and not in the original packaging, so I don't know who to give credit to. However, Stampin' Up! does make some lovely pearls that can be used um, for this project, and I will include that product number um, on my supply list. So we'll get started with our very vanilla card front and the number of years stamp set, and we're going to um, do some background stamping using the stamp here and the Sahara sand. So I grab my ink pad and my stamp and I'm going to go ahead and ink her up and then I'm just going to um, proceed to cover the entire card front with this stamp. Okay so there's my card front after the first step. The next stamp that we are going to use comes from uh, the Timeless Textures and we're going to use this um, this stamp right here and we're also going to stamp that in the Sahara Sand. So I'm going to ink her up and then I'm just going to go around um, and create a border and I am rocking it. I know we shouldn't do that but I'll show you. Um, set it down and I rock and then I push it towards the edge and that kind of creates um, the look of sponging so it could save you a step if you are like me and like to sponge things so I am rocking it a little bit and I'm not rocking this way I'm kind of gently rocking this way um, being careful not to smudge um, so carefully just rock it and as you're doing that pull it out and that creates that edge here that is lovely okay and I'm going to continue to do that all the way around my card so this is what the card front looks like so far the next um, color that I'm going to grab is the Peekaboo Peach and I am going to go ahead um, still in the timeless textures grab that lovely little flourish and I'm going to ink her up in the Peekaboo Peach and I'm going to put a couple of stamps on my card front um, one in the bottom left corner and then flip it around to the top right corner 
and stamp that just like that okay okay so the next step is to grab my designer series paper um, Sahara sand and my sponge and then I am going to work at um, sponging my edges so Sahara sand is um, not a really dark color so it adds some subtle um, distressing to the edge of this paper here um, and it's just enough um, to make a difference um, in your project takes it from new to vintage in 30 seconds okay so just a little bit more around and that looks good to me so now my next step is to grab my snail I'm going to flip that over get some snail on here Oopsie. just like that and then I'm going to put that on my card front right um, across the middle okay so I have my designer series paper attached to the front of the card front next I'm going to go ahead and grab my scotch tape and I have a couple of pieces of my um, Venetian crochet trim here about five and a half inches or so um, we are going to um, put those on the front of my card just like so so we're going to border the designer series paper on the top and the bottom with it and we'll start that let's go ahead and start with the bottom grab some tape I'm gonna get that lined up where I want it to be like so then I will let's see pick it I'm gonna pick it up it'll be easier if I pick it up so we're lining that up right along the bottom okay and then we will get some tape on one side to hold it down I'm gonna grab some tape and then I am going to work that across making sure that it's um, on the bottom of my designer series paper and then I am going to put some tape on the other side to hold it down okay and we'll do the same thing with the top alrighty so now I have my Venetian crochet trim attached um, the next thing is to go ahead and grab my linen thread and I probably I don't know have about maybe 20 inches um, but we're going to wrap that around um, the front so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and in between my Venetian trim I'm putting a strip of my snail um, on the edge and then I'm going to put down just a little bit of snail right um, the center of my front and you'll see why I'm doing that in a second so, so we're gonna wrap the linen thread around the front um, or around the card but we're, we want it um, down the center um, horizontally of the designer series paper and we're gonna wrap it around three times so I'm going to with the, the snail that I put on the back I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna press that down so it stays in place okay, we'll go ahead and wrap that once um, and get a little little tiny gap in between each wrap that's two and then my third wrap that's three okay Let's flip this over and make sure that we press down. Let's cut off this excess here. And then in the front, I'm going to pinch, press that down in the middle like so. So there's what the card looks like so far. The next thing I'm going to grab is my card base. Um, my bone folder and then I am going to flip this over and get some snail on here and then um, put it down on the front of my card base and I'm making sure I get plenty 
of adhesive down because there's a little bit of stuff going on behind it so I want to make sure it's going to stay down for me okay so this way I'm going to go ahead and put that down my card front like so and this really is a simple card I mean just like that we're almost finished um, so that is just proof positive that a really elegant card does not need to be difficult could be simple um, so simple isn't always simple simple can be complicated um, so okay so that is done we're gonna set this aside and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my two pieces of the very vanilla and we're going to go ahead and stamp up some butterflies. Um, I'm going to go ahead, grab my Sahara sand, and we will be in the watercolor wings, and I'm going to start with this stamp here, okay? And I have it all mounted, and we are going to stamp the same butterfly on both of these, so they will be twins. Um, so again, my Sahara sand, I'm going to ink off just a little bit, wait a second, ink off a little bit, and then press down, okay, just like that, let's do the other one. So, alrighty, so there is my butterfly after the first layer of stamping. The next layer that we are going to be using is this one here um, in the watercolor wings, and we are going to stamp that in the peekaboo peach. Okay? So I have her all mounted and ready to go. And I am going to stamp off on here. And then um, carefully, this is such a light color on my first layer. So um, it's going to take some skill to line this up. But let's just do what we can. Okay. Might have to bring it down a little bit. And I'm sorry if I'm off screen a little bit. Um, okay, let's see how that worked out. Okay, that's close enough. Right, let's do butterfly number two. Um, I'm going to bring that down a little bit to try to get it lined up as good as I can. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to put away my peekaboo peach for now. And so the final stamp on my butterfly is this one here. And we are going to be stamping that in the Sahara sand. Okay? And I will not be stamping off for this. So full strength Sahara sand. Let's try to line those up as best we can. Oh, I think I said this was the last stamp, but um, there's one more after this. It's the, the butterfly's bad body. Would be a freaky, freaky butterfly without a body, don't you think? Okay, so let's get this going. One more over here. Just like so. Alrighty. And there is stuff going on. Um, stamping out of lines and things. But I'm okay with that. And I'm going to tell you why. Because these are going to get cut out. And um, one of them will be underneath. So if there's some imperfections, it'll be covered by the one on top. And the one on top will be full of holes. So um, 
little imperfections are not going to matter um, for this project. The next thing is I'm going to do um, the body of the butterflies and I'm going to show you a little trick because um, that body, the, the body of the butterfly doesn't matter as much if you are not going to cut out your butterfly. But if you cut out your butterfly, um, the risk of decapitating <laughs> your butterfly is high if you don't get it right where it needs to be perfectly. So I found that if I um, use my die and put it down, this die in particular, um, and put her down around my stamped image, right about where it's going to be cut out, um, like that. And then with my body inked up in the Sahara sand, I can kind of work my way in between um, the die and stamp that down perfectly. Now I can be assured that um, my butterfly will have a head after it's been cut out. So our butterflies are stamped and the next thing um, we're going to do, I'm going to run these through my Big Shot. I will be cutting one out using this die and the other using this die. Um, and I'm going to run them through the Big Shot and be right back. Okay, there are butterfly pieces after they have been cut out. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Sahara Sand and I'm going to add a little bit of distressing around the edges of my butterfly. It's just going to tone them down a bit. Okay, all the way around. Okay. I'll do the same thing for this one. I will be a little more gentle since it's a little more delicate. So just going around my edges and toning down um, the very vanilla so that it looks a little aged. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my card front and my glue dots and I will grab this one first and I will put a glue dot right behind the head there and another one bottom okay so then I'm gonna set this on my card front right about there okay I will fold it fold up the wings a little bit just like that I'm gonna grab this one and put some glue dots on the back of the body of this one as well so just like that I think I have run out of glue dots, but I can see one more. That's all I need. One more right about there. Okay, perfect. Cut it. That worked out. Okay, so now I'm going to line this one up right on top of the one that I put down before. Just like that. There you go. How lovely is that? And now for my sentiment. I'm going to grab my peekaboo peach. My sentiment is coming from um, the one big meeting stamp set and I'm using a little thanks right up here. And um, okay, whenever I'm stamping sentiments, I like to do a test one because um, I don't, my eyes, I wear glasses and I think I can see, but sometimes um, the stamp has been upside down. So I just want to make sure it's facing in the direction that it needs to be so that I don't have to start over because starting over is not fun. So, okay, right about here on the bottom right of my card, I am stamping my sentiment just like that. There you go. How perfect is that? And I am done with my ink. So the next step is to grab my lovely little pearls um, and some scissors and I'm going to use this size here and I think there's about maybe nine that I'm going to end up with here but I'm going to start at the tippy top of my butterfly's head and go all the way down to its tail um, and line up my little pearls just like so. 
Okay, and so there is our lovely butterfly. So the next thing we're gonna do is grab one of them, the bigger pearls, and I am going to set that right in the top left corner, just like so. Then I'm going to grab one of the, the same size pearls that we use for the body of the butterfly. And I'm gonna set that right underneath that pearl. And then I'm gonna grab one of these tiny little pearls. Um, and again, these pearls are not Stampin' Up, but Stampin' Up pearls, um, which um, I've included the product number um, down below um, in my supply list. Um, they have multiple sizes, so as long as um, you graduate three size pearls from big to, to little, you will get the same look here. Um, so let's we're gonna do that on the bottom right corner. So we're gonna line up the three pearls, but this time we're gonna line them up horizontally. So we're gonna start with our biggest and then our small, like that. And then our tiny. And there you have it, super duper quick, super duper easy, and super duper elegant. And when I say quick and easy, I mean quick and easy. This card is quick and easy to make. With a handful of supplies, you can make this card and have a handful of thank yous stashed away ready for when you need them. In fact, with a few color variations, you can make these cards. Um, and several different colors just like this. Look how gorgeous that is. Same card, just different colors. Um, the middle one here is using the, the new in color available June 1st, the Sweet Sugar Plum. And then this one here on the left is also a new in color and it's the Emerald Envy. Um, and you can see that, um, and, and the designer series paper is from the same paper stack that I used here in this project. Um, lovely cards. Lovely, lovely cards. Um, again, quick, easy, handful of supplies. Make them, stash them, and give them out when needed. So make sure you jot down the supply list down below. Um, then head on over to my website at withhisgifts.com. Place your order today and make these beauties at home. Also, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Check out my website at withhisgifts.com. Check out what I'm all about. Hit me up with any questions. I will be happy to help you in any way that I can. And if you're thinking about becoming a Stumpin' Up! demonstrator, I would love for you to join my Creatively His team. Also check out my website, um, specifically the Join My Team page, um, and check out how easy it is to join and what the perks are. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact, and I will help you out in any way that I can. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you for stopping by and have a great day.